Leapwing Audio just released their Roots 1 plugin, a sub bass generator. The plugin adds low end harmonics. It generates that frequency content instead of boosting low end. It extends your sub range. Leapwing Audio states Roots 1 delivers the cleanest low end possible and that low end is face aligned with the original audio. Let's find out how it sounds. I'm Marlon and welcome to the Whitener Studio. Root 1 works by generating a clean subharmonic note after analyzing the amplitude and phase and each band generates a clean subharmonic note. It's a pitch follower algorithm, so it does not simply pitch down the audio. The fourth band called harmonics adds saturation, which adds harmonics to the low band so the bass will be also audible on small speakers, which is a very sweet and useful add-on. Here are the controls. The three main bands have the same controls for each band and you can set the crossover point between these three bands. You have the volume slider, the solo, the drive, dynamics and decay controls. With solo you can solo each band to hear what it does and with this synth you can hear the pitch following algorithm well in action. With volume you set how much the band is mixed in. The drive is a post fader send. With this you set how much of the frequency band is sent to the fourth harmonics saturation band. It sets how much of the band will get added mid range harmonics. You can drag like this or click and type or use the slider too. The dynamics dial controls how much the sub bass band will follow the original amplitude. 100 is a 100% following of that amplitude and the closer you get to zero, the more even the boost will be and less dynamic and it will be boosted more in that narrow range. The decay controls the envelope of the generated new sub bass signal. This behavior is fully dependent of the source audio, but in general you set the decay of the new sub bass with this. If you set it to full, you can hear it continuing a bit longer than the original audio. This can be helpful if you want to extend the low end a bit. The saturation section has a few different controls. The level sets the level of the generated harmonics. With the drive you set how much harmonics there will be overall. The color changes the distortion type of the drive. Zero is more tape-like and 100 is more tube-like. But they are not emulations. With the low pass you can roll off the harmonics to tweak how much of these harmonics are added in. There are a few shortcuts for soloing. Normally you select a solo knob to solo a band. By pressing shift you can solo between bands. And if you have selected a few bands in solo, alt click will reset all solos. And here you set the mix dry wet balance. With the slider named original you set how much you blend back in the original audio. With the output slider you can compensate for overall volume. There are a few functions more like a bypass, a B comparison and copy settings. Let's try out a few presets and if needed tweak them. Snare first. The preset is snare body. This is with. And this is without. It does what the preset name says, it adds body. Let's tweak a bit and just use the third band called punch. Let's raise the crossover and turn up the decay a bit. It 
it makes the snare a lot fuller and punchier. Synths are next. Preset is Synth Thick. And it does make this synth thicker. Let's tweak a bit to hear how every control sounds. Ok, kick drum and the preset is kick punch. This already sounds nice and punchy without any tweaking. And let's check the master bus. Preset is beef up mix. And it does beef up the mix. So Leapwing Audio has chosen their preset names pretty well. The Ruth one does what was promised. It makes a sub bass and bass bigger without muddying up the low end. Of course it works a bit better on sources like kick and snare than complex harmonic material, but that is inherent of the audio used. The saturation section is very helpful for bringing out the low end of small speaker devices. This is definitely one of the cleanest sounding low end extension plugins I ever heard. If you are in need of big low end and want a plugin which is easy to dial in and gives great results quickly, check out this plugin. Please remember to subscribe to this channel and like this video. Check out the video displayed on screen right now if you want to know more about mixing. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!